Hello groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host, you can call me PD. And today we are checking out 과거, 현재, 미래 uh, by CN Blue. 과거, 현재, 미래. Then, now, and forever. That's not exactly what the Korean title is. 과거, 현재, 미래. That's past, present, future. 과거 means past. 현재 means present. 미래 means future. But uh, something about then, now, and forever just sounds more emotional. Like, even though it's not a direct translation, I feel like the the wording of this somehow translates the meaning of it better. The purpose, the emotional note that they're trying to give off. I wonder if we are going to get something that's a little bit more emotional filled. Because it has been several years, maybe two, three years, maybe two years since CN Blue has had a comeback. I think the last one was Between Us, the Seven Degrees album. Um, and it's been a long time since then, you know, you had members go into the military and some scandals, which we are not going to refer to. That's not the point and purpose of this. We're just going to enjoy the music and the music video. So let's check it out. And of course, before we do, let's talk about today's sponsor, our merch guys if you enjoy our channel if you enjoy what we do you want to support us consider joining team therapy you can join team therapy by heading on over to teespring.com slash team therapy picking up one of our pieces of merch you know the message of our channel is about spreading positivity inclusivity honest open discussions and just creating a better society and if you want to support that message, consider picking up one of our merch. We also have a Champion hoodie collaboration. It's super dope. Uh, Champion is literally one of the most comfortable hoodies I've ever worn. So I was super excited about this collab. You can see that image right there. It's got the Champion logo on it uh, on the arm sleeve. So I'm super excited. If you want to pick it up. You can head on over there uh, just in time for the holidays, too. Uh, guys, I really appreciate everyone supporting our videos uh, and uh, anybody who picks up our merch. But, of course, remember that completely optional. If you don't want to, that's fine. You know, a free way to help us out, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. You know, 55% of the people who watch our videos uh, do not subscribe. You know, apparently we have like a million viewers a month and half of you guys are not subscribed. So if you guys want to support the channel, consider subscribing. Anyways, let's get into this video. This is Then, Now, and Forever by CN Blue, and this is your form of therapy. Whoa. This sounds... Wow, that guitar kind of reminds me of like, like more like folk indie indie American stuff. Oh. Wow, Yongwa looks so different. We're in the past, present, and future. Oh, 
Wow. All that, like that loud, big emotion, and then bringing it back to this simple acoustic guitar was powerful. Oh, yes. That was that was beautiful. That was powerful, emotional. Oh my goodness! Um, they still got it. You know, it's been years, but they still got it. You know, I, I'm not surprised. I never expected them to lose it, but it just feels like they've been through a lot. You know, and I've been following them well since their debut, and I just. I really, really, really love this. Even though this wasn't pop rock, you know, the exciting, catchy stuff that they're sort of known for. They're also, like, you know, if you are a fan, you are you have also heard their more emotional stuff, their slower stuff. And, you know, I'm not not I'm not that into slow songs. Um is I, I feel like I'm very 50-50 when it comes to slow songs and emotional songs, just because I do find that if a slow and emotional song is Artifice, it comes off as artifice and it feels boring to me. But when the emotion is real, I can feel it. I can feel it and and I can feel the raw emotion here. It's a very sentimental type of song. Uh, it feels very, you know, I think especially everything that they've been through to have a song like this feels very healing. It's like looking back on the past, uh, looking towards the future and also being very present. And something about this, like it really wraps together very nicely. Um, it's just, it's very good. I, I love the song. The song's a solid 10 out of 10. The music video is a solid 10 out of 10. I'd, I'd like to just refer to some of the scenes in the video here, if you guys don't mind. Um, the music video, uh, I thought, first of all, very beautiful. I love the choice of cinematography. They went for a very soft aesthetic look. If you look, the, you've you've got a little bit of like some um, digital airbrushing going on to make his skin look, look softer. But it's also like the lens itself, the lens that they use. Uh, notice how like um, the focus is really on his eyes and then it starts to lose focus around uh, his hair his face his eyes the focus is it's drawing you to his eyes they want you to look deep into his eyes deep into his soul um, and the music video largely has a very minimal minimalist kind of backdrop like a lot of whites a lot of grays muted tones like like uh sort of like the tan brown beige white here it's more like a uh, i would say beige salmon um but it's not boring. Usually if you have like gray walls, the music video can look ugly and whatnot. And so when you incorporate a lot of blank whites and um, neutral colors like this, I think color grading is important more than ever. And so the few things that do stand out that pop here is really his skin tones and the wood on this guitar, the black on the guitar. It really makes this scene pop. You know, the amps make it pop. Uh, but then they start incorporating. And so like if we consider like this is the past, right? There's also an evolution throughout the video. This is the past. And it looks like these are actually speakers, right? That's Those are cool giant speakers. But then they start incorporating this paint. They start incorporating the paint into the scenes. Um, and then you, you see the paint here. And then you see the paint on the ground as well. You're bringing more color into the video. And even notice like uh, this scene with Yongha right here compared to this. The color grading is different, right? See how the light is much brighter here, and you see like this yellow tone, and everything is a lot more. Uh, it's it's got a little bit more yellow in it, but when they grade this, when they grade this, notice how the light is not as bright. It's getting cooler, 
right? That's a really interesting uh, thing that I just noticed. Um, and so they're introducing more blue and blue and blue into the scene. And then this gets darker here. And then we have the group scene, which is a combination of all three of their sets. I'm just noticing now they put a curtain over it, a blue curtain over it, but that was Yonga's set, that's the other set, and that's the other set with like the torn books and stuff like that. And now none of them are wearing white. You still have the, you still have the neutral uh, gray background here, uh, but they're wearing solid black. They're wearing black and blue. Um, actually, they might not be wearing black. I think they're wearing a mix of, it's actually navy. Yongha is definitely navy. Um, he's, yeah, they're wearing a mix of, okay, navy and black. I think his turtleneck might be black, but it's a mix of navy and black. But color-wise, aesthetically, it's so cool. And definitely, CN Blue, you know, they are a group I associate with the color blue, not just because of their name, but they have always, like, kind of tightly, I feel like, schemed it like that and i think it doing that here feels important now more than ever it feels like a back to basics this is cm blue this is what we're about we are blue and just they're showing that visually and through a very blue type song um it's very it's a very powerful song it's a very powerful music video that has a powerful just emotional uh feeling to it and is it just me or is Yonga's guitar like really messed up? It's like really fucked up. Like it looks like it's chipped. I, I can't tell if that's part of the aesthetic or the paint design. Um, I wonder if it was like that here. No, that's his guitar. Uh, it looks like it's a part of the design of the guitar actually. Um, if I can get a close up of, yeah. Uh, oh yeah I mean I guess it looks like it's a part of the guitar des design I I mean I don't I don't think they would carry such battered guitars if it was that battered but yeah um then now and forever I think is a very emotional but powerful piece because you know as I said I don't like emotional slower songs but there is something about CM blue that um I always I always feel it. I always feel it and they resonate with me. You know, um, the song Why from their debut album is still one of my favorite songs of all time. And I think this was this was the perfect comeback song. You know, it feels, it feels very much like uh, we've been wary from waiting. We've been wary from kind of all the issues that we've seen on the news. And this feels just very healing, you know, and it feels like a nice little reset. So... I'm I'm definitely a fan of Then Now and Forever by CN Blue. Question is, what did you think? If you are a CN Blue fan or if you're new to the band, let me know what you guys thought about this music video and this song in the comments down below. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting like, leave a comment. That helps us out a lot. Visit us on Patreon. Visit us on our merch shop. Pick up some merch. And, you know, if you don't want to support us monetarily, that's completely fine. Consider hitting the subscribe button and subscribe for future videos. Please, it would help us out a lot. And go ahead and check out our other videos over here. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.